All right, so I saw on my local news tonight, um, they love running these stories, by the way. I've seen quite a few in the past couple years um, about cyberbullying. And let me, let me start off by saying cyberbullying doesn't exist. Only individuals and other individuals trolling individuals. That's it. It's just trolls trolling people. That's it. And anonymously, too. Cyberbullying doesn't exist. Um, And I wish, it just bugs me, that idiotic little shits are getting scapegoated for something that's inherently wrong with the individual getting trolled. Because... If words on a screen can affect you to a point where it derails your life or makes you contemplate death, there is a serious issue with the individual and they need to seek professional help. They need to see a professional about that because that ain't right. They either need to seek out family who will hook them up, m- you know, maneuver them into a position to get p- for professional help, or they just need to get professional help on their own. You know, because internet trolling, or let's call it cyberbullying, is a hell of a lot easier to escape than real life bullying, which is a real thing. If you get bullied in a in a place of education. What the fuck are you supposed to do about that except tell higher ups if they don't do shit then you're fucked. You know, change school may may happen there. Really difficult to get avoid. Bullying at home t- damn near impossible unless you move the fuck out. Bullying in a workplace again equally as difficult to avoid. Internet bullying one button. One button puts an end to it completely stops it dead they may create another account that's fine block them again ask fm they ask you questions or egg you on to do stupid shit there's literally one button click the message is gone twitter you can block a user they won't even be able to see your well i think they changed that actually never mind you can block a user on Twitter. They can never tweet you unless they make another account. And you know what they do if they, if you make another account? Block them again. Delete the tweet they sent. Block them again. On YouTube, block them. Ban the user from commenting. Block their channel. Like, it's so easy to escape. It's so easy to fix on the internet. You just block the offending users think nothing of what they said, block them. But, I don't know if it's a lack of knowledge, ignorance, or just straight up self-harm as to why you would not take steps to protect yourself like that. I mean, Facebook, for instance. You can block people there too, that I'm sure is done with a click of a button. Like, you can brush what they... You can just not pay attention to what's being said and just block them or remove the comment. You don't... There is no... There is nothing forcing you to put up with that kind of shit. So, it comes back to my original point. If it gets you this badly, then there is something wrong. Professional help is needed. So, I mean, if it's not the internet that fucks you, it's going to be real life. If the internet doesn't get to you first, real life certainly will. It's not a problem that's going to go away. If you can get that hurt on the internet, it's not, this is, it's not a problem that will go go away with life. You need to address it now. So... Cyberbullying, what have we concluded, doesn't exist. It's a term coined 
from real life things and trying to taking from real life trying to apply it to the internet where it doesn't apply it's just people getting trolled the internet's so anonymous that can happen and it's also so anonymous that you can block them and what is what is a person who you don't know telling you you're worthless what does that mean what does pixels on a screen telling you you're worthless mean Nothing. It doesn't mean a thing. Shit, I get hate a lot. I'm not affected. People, you know, people take away from my responses what they want to, but I'm not affected. I'm fucked up enough as it is. I'm like, so? <laughs> fuck this dude. Whoever this person is, fuck them. Block them. Fuck them. I don't need them. I don't need this. I don't need to deal with this. Fuck them. In fact, I'm not going to deal with it. I'm going to put I'm going to reply to him, block him, put him out my head. I won't give another thought to this motherfucker for the rest of my life. It's like it's so easy. So, it is a topic that every time I hear about it, it always riles me up because it's such a stupid thing to see. At the same time, I'm I'm saying this I'm not shitting on anybody that does get to certain points because that's counterproductive. I'm just saying, you need professional help. So, that's it. Um, that's my that's my views on cyber bullying, aka random anonymouses, anonymous eye, trolling other people. That's about all I have to say. Sweet. All right. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed the pug that I. <laughs> I used to use a lot as my pick as my pick for videos such as this. He's making a triumphant return, I hope. I love that pug. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Um and yeah, I'm out. Bye.